It's that time of year. I know it sounds crazy. We're only in January, but even in January, there are seeds you can start. Here's the shocking thing. Regardless of what zone you're in, this is when you should start your seeds. I know it makes no sense, but it does when we look at plant science and all that fun stuff because that is what we do on this channel is we garden with science and the first thing to do is to start some seeds in January. So I have six seeds for you today to start in January. The disclaimer here is I would not start these seeds now if you do not have the proper setup to keep these guys lit accordingly meaning if you do not have the light or the space do not start these in january save your money and purchase these from the store it will be cheaper in the long run because you're going to start the plants they're going to start the seeds and then you're not going to have the proper lighting or you're going to have to invest in the lighting which if you want to you can but it's going to be expensive and then you're going your time your energy all that sort of stuff only to repurchase it because things are leggy and not working not ideal so do not start these seeds in January. Just mark them off on your list of seeds or plants to purchase at the, the greenhouse because or at the nursery. It's very important and something to seriously consider because we don't want to start seeds and get everything off to the wrong foot because strong seedlings mean strong adult plants. Weak seedlings mean sick, diseased, and lackluster growth in our garden in the summer. So only start these seeds indoors if you have the proper environment for them. And that brings me to my second point, which is no heat mats. Yes, this is for the people who don't want to invite invest in the heat mat, but do have the lights and all the growing equipment. I know, wild, huh? But the truth is that some seeds have longer lead times to germination. And the seeds that fall under that category can be started now. And so long as we keep that soil moisture adequate, not drenched, but adequate, we can get proper germination. It just takes extra time and there's nothing wrong with that when we have time on our side, which is why we start seeds in January. So those of you that don't invest in the heat mat, have the light, have the space. This is the seeds you should start here in January. So number one is onions and leeks. I don't care what variety, I don't care what kind. It could be reds, it could be whites, it could be yellows, it could be leek this, leek that. Anything that's in that leek, garlic, onion world right now. Right now is the time to start them. You can start them ASAP here, first week of January, all the way to the end of January. The sooner, the better, I can promise you. I started my onions way too late last year. This year, getting started right now, here in January. The onions I grow are Calicea, Calicea. And if you did not know, I actually have a list of my seeds, a site page of all the seeds that I grow every year religiously, habitually, with West Coast seeds. So you can actually check that out and I do have the onions I like to grow listed in that page, Calicea being the number one. It's a heirloom German variety, I believe. The, the bulbs on those, they're huge. They're huge, they're great for storage, they're fresh, great for fresh eats. Trust me, you can thank me later. Number two is ginger or turmeric. So these guys take time to germinate. Um, or to sprout, I guess, not germinate. And they can be done with a heat mat or without. Now, if you choose to do without, I would start them now. If you choose to germinate or sprout with, then you could hold off for about a month if you wanted to. The sooner you start it, the more harvest you're gonna get. So they really take off in those hot months. They tend to grow a little bit slower this season. The only reason why I would start them in January regardless is because I do find that based on where I am, roots themselves are not always the freshest. So what you get from Walmart or Superstore, it, they don't necessarily always sprout. So you may have to restart this process a few times, which is what I experienced last year. So do start those now. I have mine perpetually being grown behind me here. I have them kind of in a dormant phase where I'm running the lights less hours a day and I am restricting some water. You go that route too where you just keep them alive continuously. But regardless, if you want to start fresh, 
start those now. If you are wanting to revive, right now is the time to start that revival process. Number three is peppers, specifically hot peppers. So hot peppers are one of those that take time to germinate, particularly if we're not using a heat mat. However, if you're early, ahead of the game here in January, then right now is the time to start them. So this will allow you to get a larger plant that has more photosynthetic powerhouse and therefore can utilize more of that photosynthesis photosynthesis <laughs> could you let some flowers go so you could get some small indoor pepper harvest of course there's no problem with that however we want to focus on that vegetative growth as much as possible this is one where if you don't have the proper lighting please do not start your peppers early because leggy peppers do not do well we want short stout compact intense light on these guys to help with that that is really really important and if you followed my video on overwintering peppers right now is actually the time to slowly begin to pull that pepper out of dormancy again only if you have the proper indoor lighting so if you have the proper indoor lighting whether that's window light or grow light whatever the case is you can start to water and nurture and get the ball rolling with it the next one is herbs now herbs is subjective you don't have to start all herbs now you could start all herbs now and then just harvest from and utilize them here as they grow so that would mean for basil you would top them or whatever the case is but there are three in particular where you would want to start them regardless and that being rosemary thyme and oregano so these three are ones that if we were to start now will give us larger plants that are easier to harvest things like cilantro and parsley and basil and tarragon like more the greenery that doesn't have that woody stem to it these are ones that we can actually put off for quite a while and we don't have to grow right now here in this time period but oregano thyme and rosemary are three that you could start here at this moment because of the time it takes them to grow vegetation wise along with the time it does take them to classically germinate some of like thyme and oregano I, I find i don't have that issue but rosemary for sure okay the next one is actually strawberries so strawberries from seed should be started now not strawberries from runners strawberries from runners you can direct sow either in the fall or in the spring but strawberries from seed you want to start here and now these you might want to actually start with heat mat just to get germination to take place a little bit quicker but we that is like a december january grow type thing and this goes for all strawberry types whether they're ever bearing or june bearing you name it we want to start those now and the last one is actually lavender now the process of starting lavender may not mean starting them here and now in this moment they may actually mean putting them in a paper towel putting them in the fridge for the three to four weeks as recommended on the packaging and then planting them. Yes, lavender takes time and patience, and therefore you want to follow that process. And another plant that may fall under that category, depending on what you want to go with, and if this made your exotics list that we spoke about, planting exotics and how many to plant, passion fruit. Passion fruit would be the other one where you'd want to start that wonderful process of refrigeration and what paper towel and plastic bags, you name it. So that definitely is something to consider because the planting process may not take place in January, but there is some prep that needs to take place. And some people do say rosemary is one that you would want to take the time to put in the fridge, paper towel, plastic bag, that sort of thing. So definitely something to consider if you want to grow any of those fruit plants that require a cold period or if there are any other seeds that you want to grow that you know require a cold period here in january is the time to make that happen whether that means putting them outdoors putting in the fridge the freezer whatever the case is follow your instructions your seed provider knows what conditions are necessary or what they've done preemptively to those seeds so follow their instructions as stated if they do not tell you to do any sort of stratification or fertilization then perfect don't do it you don't have to you can just direct so right into your potting so anyways i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did 
subscribe, like, comment down below what seeds you're gonna be starting in January, what zone you're in, and why you're starting them here so soon. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.